can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure. I connected my external mic, but it didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, hey, um, thanks for coming on the call. I really, I just wanted to, I, we haven't done those in a while. Um, and it feels like we have enough members right now to, you know, start collecting some feedback. And because we have a lot of people as well, they, they come in, but they don't have the time to watch the videos. So that's why they, yeah, you know, sure. they're, they're a bit skeptical. So if we start posting those more often, like interviews with, with current members, they can be more yeah. inspiring to people and push them into, you know, dedicating one day of their time to, to yeah, go and sure. study week one, week two, right? Yeah. 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 So let me ask you, uh, Matthew, why, uh, first of all, uh, why are you attracted to trading? Why did you want to trade in the first place? Yeah, so um, I guess, the end goal is to sort of be financially independent um, and and sort of just break out of the sort of nine to five uh, kind of um, career. Uh, but yeah, and so trading was something I was sort of interested in uh, probably six to eight months ago. Um, and I sort of started looking into, you know, technical analysis and, and trying to learn, um, you know, bits and pieces off of YouTube and, and all that sort of thing. Um, and never really um, traded for real, but it was looking to day trading and um, started following some gurus and that sort of thing. Um, paid for a course. Um, fortunately, it wasn't too expensive, but um, still, you know, after doing the course, didn't really, you know, uh, find it that useful. Um, what were the things that they were teaching in the course? Uh, so strategies. Um, so... Uh, they were teaching this guy, uh, you know, sort of said, you know, I, may, I turned $20,000 into 5 million in five years or whatever, you know, sort of thing it was, um, which is sort of see across all the time. Um, and he seemed pretty legitimate. And so I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll buy it. And the quality of the course was really poor quality, like the sound quality of sort of handwritten drawings, you know, really for, for the money for the money it was um, that was a bit disappointing and then um, the communication he uh, his English wasn't that great um, so uh, the communication and teaching um, element was pretty lacking um, and so yeah but it was basically just uh, some of the basics and then outlining I think six strategies um, to use and so I was sort of focusing in on one and um, I was about to sort of put it into practice and, and sort of practicing on a demo account. Um, and then, yeah, thankfully stumbled across you guys. So, um, yeah. Sounds good. Well, when you first started Break Free Trading, what was like, what was your experience level with trading? Have you, have you done any like trend lines or like technical analysis or was it like completely fresh for you or? It, it was somewhere in the middle, so it wasn't completely fresh. I sort of knew I was still learning, still very much a beginner. I'd never really placed um, a you know a day trade you know with real money. Um, so yeah, I I knew of you know the, the the lingo and the and the technical sort of terms and everything like that. Um, but I was still yeah very much in the sort of beginner level. I see. So how long did it take you to finish? the week one and week two training about two days <laughs> yeah i sort of just yeah blitzed through it i found it i found it really engaging um and it sort of uh it, the way it was pitched and the and the language that you guys were using and the audience that you guys were speaking to it felt very um uh direct and and um uh quite appropriate for the stage and level that i was at you know, I, you know, you guys sort of reference the gurus and the people out there and it's like, oh, that's, you know, that's exactly where I'm at. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it sort of really resonated with me. So, um, yeah, I found the content, you know, sort of really engaging and um, at a fast enough pace, you know, not too slow, not too fast um, and not too, not overly technical. Um, and I, because I had a, a, a decent enough understanding of, um, I guess the, you know, what goes into, um, I mean, you can't see my wall, but it's littered with, um, technical drawings and all this sort of thing. Um, so I, um, you know, when, when you guys sort of say that throwaway line, you know, we do the heavy lifting and it's like, I, I have some appreciation of, of what you mean. So, um, 
that sort of, yeah, really resonated with me. So that sort of got my interest. Um, and yeah, I just sort of, uh, kept going through. So yeah, one, two days. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, so what was like, what was your results like after let's say two weeks of trading? Yeah. So I did, um, I traded on a demo account for about, um, I think it was about 10 days, um, and sort of sat, uh, so you know decent results uh, i think it was like ten thousand dollars on the on the ic markets um and yeah so, so uh, decent you know uh, net positive results so i'm like okay I'll, you know i'll give this a chance and you know in my mind it was fairly fairly easy because you know that the the rate that you charge for you know the one month or the three months you know was quite reasonable and i thought look you know at the end of the day you know if i lose that you know and three you know it, it should be okay um so yeah so unfortunately i didn't have uh, uh, a great deal of success in the first sort of couple of weeks there was that um aud usd uh track that just sort of went up and, and well you were you were just so, in discovery plan just forex yeah 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 discovery plan yeah that's it um so just forex um and so yeah got stopped out on a few trades um there were a couple of mistakes on my part um, even though I I sort of listened and, and like watched the videos, you know, a couple of times, um, and went back and rewatched a couple of, you know, the ones on repeat trading and, and common mistakes and that sort of thing, which were really useful. Um, one of the mistakes I made was I didn't translate my Australian currency um, account in the breakthrough trading algo, so it still thought it was USD. So my my lots. My, my um, splits were um, too big, so and unfortunately, those trades that I lost on, I, you know, that was then, um, you know, even worse. So, um, but you know, that I sort of re realized. Oh, I do admit, there's you know a little bit uh, on our part uh, is that we could have coded it so you can convert to other currencies, but um, as it is right now, technology-wise, it's a trading view plugin. And there is yep. a very, very like there's a limitation on the amount yeah, of code we can yeah. write. So literally, what we're doing right now is just we're waiting till the platform launches, and then we're completely free to do whatever we want. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's, that's it's cool. pretty, pretty close um, to to being being live. So we're just working on it. But I appreciate you know that you guys are sticking with us. You know, it's not the perfect product, but it's yeah. it's good enough to get results. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, like if it's, you know, 60, 70, uh, even 80 percent, you know, over the course of time, um, you know, it'll it'll profit. So, yeah, that's, you know, I'll see out the three months for sure um, and, you know, reassess. But um, so far, so good. Like um, so that was, yeah, that that first couple of um, trades were um, just bad luck as well. As, you know, the sort of I think you put out a recent video most recently saying, you know, um, uh, you know, you, you sort of have to deal with emotion in terms of you could have 10, 10 in a row that lose, you know, and then you get a five. It's just the way it goes. So, you know, I think that was sort of came at a real um, perfect time for me because I'm just like, ah, oh, no, what have I done? You know, um, but, you know, so I'll, I'll definitely stick it out for the three months. And, and I think over that course, that will be where you can assess that the algorithm is as you said, you know, it's not perfect, but it's better than um, nothing. And over the course of time, it's, it's, it's positive. It's, so. it's about, it's about having an edge, Matthew. And it's just like some people, uh, like we have to, the way we talk to people in our marketing and in our education as well, we have to be, we can't be too technical from, from yeah. the beginning. We can't tell them that like, you know, oh, it's probabilities and you have to understand the concept of probabilities from the week one. Right. Yeah. Um, we kind of have to gradually uh, yeah. you know, explain this concept. So, of course, uh, it's it's very easy for people to believe something that there's an algorithm that does everything for them and it predicts yeah. the future. Yeah. It's a nice yeah. it's a nice little fantasy to tell people. Right. But but once yeah. you go into it and you realize that it's uh, it's still um, it's still a probability game because yeah. you never know when the hedge hedge fund is going to come or yeah. a, a bank is going to come and then unload, unload their position. Um, every market can be manipulated and uh, also you know we we can measure those emotions with mathematical yeah. models but obviously we can't predict the future but once we realize that 
it is there it's it's random the results are random but yeah. you can measure and have a more like statistically higher chance of winning than losing if we keep sticking to our strategy that's the key right see if we start deviating from our strategy introducing yeah. new indicators introducing um some other guru advice or on trying something on our own we're already we're kind of like violating that that structure right and um the the edge is gone right so yeah, we just definitely. keep doing it and yeah. yes it might be boring but you know we just keep doing we just keep yeah, our yeah. trades uh, to make it more interesting, that's why we have uh, like a pro plan where you can, you know, explore um, stocks and, and trade gold or Bitcoin or stuff like that. But that's maybe for, for the future after you yeah. really got the grasp of, you know, how the algorithm works on Forex yeah. because Forex is really, really good market to learn on. And yeah. it's, it's and price is affordable. So you can, you know, you're not losing much money if you're practicing, right? Yeah. And then once you're ready, then you can dive into learning about stocks and maybe combining a little bit of uh, fundamental analysis, like learning about the company um, a balance sheet, and then yeah. maybe picking some stocks to trade, right? Um, I personally, uh, I use the algorithm as well to have some investments. So I just yeah. have picked the stocks, but at least I don't buy where everyone else buys, right? At the current price. I wait yeah. till the price retraces and the algorithm just easily shows me that if I wait for a few more weeks, I can pick up this really, really good company yeah. for a fraction of the price, right? Yeah, and then yeah, I just yeah, wait for, sure. for a few months. And yeah. so this is another use case of the algorithm. And um, I haven't really talked about it much, but uh, when the platform launches, hopefully we're going to have investing mode and trading yeah. mode. So with investing yeah. mode, we, we're just going to kind of put more emphasis on the um, building a watch list, um, getting uh, news about the companies and or maybe getting the database. We still haven't figured it out yet, but like there's going to be Kind of a separate invest investor version yeah, yeah cool. uh but for now um yeah we just maybe a few months a few months away from launch and then we can kind of start implementing all all these things that we learned from our students in the past six months and then we're just gonna implement those into reality and it's gonna be way 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 easier to trade that's for sure who who would you recommend break free trading to and who should stay away from break free trading what do you think? uh yeah, that's a good question. Um, I guess anybody that's, I mean, I'm, I've got a sort of analytical background, so I, I sort of like this sort of stuff, but I don't think, I think you guys have done a really good job and I don't think it's necessarily, you know, I don't think that's a prerequisite to have that sort of, you know, um, you know, if you like numbers and analytics and that sort of thing, I don't, it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, anybody that's impatient, um, I wouldn't recommend this to that's looking for something that's really quick, like a get rich quick scheme. Like it's, it's not that you, even though it does a lot of the heavy lifting, like you sort of say in your videos, like you, you still need to be careful when you're placing trades and really concentrate and focus. And, you know, there's even been a couple of mistakes, uh, there's been a couple of times where I've, you know, placed an order and then I go, oh crap, I didn't even change the, the lot number you know and cancel that and redo it so it's it's really easy um if you're not just sort of focused for the 20 minutes um so yeah anybody that's impatient i wouldn't recommend it um but apart from that if you've got a you know if you can operate technology and you you know you know software and you can work your way around a graph um you know it shouldn't be too much of a learning curve for you especially with the two weeks of training like yeah do, matthew do you think people that never traded before can yeah can sure. get success in this yeah 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 um definitely if you haven't traded before i mean that was me i've done a few long-term investments you know on a few stocks um but you know apart from that i've never really traded before so or not like this so that was me um so yeah definitely you know, yeah. thanks a lot for being part of this. I know it's an early stage, you know, we're doing as best as we can yeah, to make no, this no user worries. friendly. Uh, but yeah. the next next stage is going to be exciting and the platform, the app, and then hopefully it's, it's going to be really, really smooth trading experience. Yeah, yeah no, cool, man. Looking forward to it. Awesome, Matthew. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot for your time. And I'll, I'll... No worries, man. All right. All Happy right. trading. Thanks, man.